what, we have four of them now? No, we have five. No, four. That was four? That was four. Yeah, that was four. Four out of seven? Oh, yeah, we have a side quest so we can go get Mouse Lady. Oh, yeah. I think that's the, uh, the question mark side quest. Mm-hmm. That's the first time Tech did something that was helpful and not creepy weird. Also the shortest peach portion. Yes. With widescreen, you can easily see the nerd showing you the answers off to the side of the screen, yeah. Can I admit that it wasn't until my second playthrough that I noticed that? What? Oh, you mean Undertale? Yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, well, apparently a couple people were the same way, and I was like, really? <laughs> I don't know. It was just... But, yeah, it's Train Chapter now, isn't it? Or, no, yes? No, it's. I'm pretty sure it's Boat. And we just learned to become Boat? Uh, you go to yeah, boat, and then you learn to boat. You curse to boat. A man approaches you and says, I curse you for more to be a boat. Like as soon as someone from Rusher sees the clown car. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Mario Maker! Ah! <laughs> Shame! Shame of Worm indeed. I still need to see how many people have played that now. See how many people have died. <laughs> oh good, finally Bowser swimming. I forgot how good this is. I need a ham hock. Bowser, master of hams!
<laughs> Fool, Bowser does as he pleases. <laughs> oh, gee, up have you never seen the Bowser chapters of A Thousand Year Door? Oh, they're they're excellent. They're totally excellent. Yeah, he gets really good quotes if you die a bunch of times, and also if you get hit, he just becomes super tiny, and it's really funny. <laughs> <sighs> One hour remains. Yep. Here comes the tiny witch. You had a great time. I swallowed a dang blooper! <laughs> Did we hurt your feelings? Yeah, actually. Uh-oh. You fell for that guy? He was so weird. Like, what? You, what? Yeah, yeah, you guys suck. I hate you. Let's see if these birds have anything to say about Bitcoin. Jimmy down the street keeps building these PCs. His house burned down twice. They're literally talking about a pay site where you can find out about Mario. Alright, any of you guys know about Bitcoin? Oh my god, they're talking about the feasibility of solar power in a modern market. I love these birds. <laughs> Those birds are so good! Well, I mean, it's really not viable until it reaches at least 30% efficiency. Pfft. That's ridiculous. It's like these birds don't understand how engines work. But 40% is going to be ridiculous. That's impossible. They call the current cycle. Alright, please. You need at least 50. It's not even pl- hmm. That's one thing that always makes me really mad on the inside, and I really try not to, because I know it gives away that I'm a huge nerd. Um, whenever I see somebody, like, be like, oh, this engine is, you know, only 40% efficient, that's really bad, and I'm like, that is incre- shut your mouth. <laughs> that is- like right on that's what we're, that's that is actually as good as it gets yeah. to our knowledge of machinery yeah unless you know some way or like you'll see people be like oh i made something that makes power like no you didn't <laughs> no no you did not you did your math wrong actually um <laughs> one of my professors or rather he was um not like professor professor he was oh, what's the term for it I'm totally spacing on words. TA? Like, uh, TA, yeah. He was a TA and he was a graduate student. And his specialization was in wind power. And, oh man, he got some supremely good-ass questions. But one of the things he got contracted out for, like, he made a lot of money as a, as a you know, a TA. And people were like, well, how are you making so much as a TA, dude? And he's like, oh, because I do contract work for people. And he, like, he talked about it for a bit. It turns out almost all of the money he made on the side of being a TA was literally like he'd get contracted out by these indie people because he was like an expert in solar power and they would ask him questions just being like, hey, how do you think? Or it was like, hey, can you double check this and get an approval for it? And he would just look at it and he said he was just great because he would just look at it, immediately see that they had put something that was completely infeasible. And then would just be like, oh, no, it's not possible. And they'd be like, what? And he'd like, go through it for an hour and make like 200 bucks. Just by explaining to them why it literally could not be done. <laughs> Cap is 999. Why buy a gold bar? Why would I not invest in gold? 
I want to build some manner of stupid motion wheel at some point, just because it would be a cool toy to have the around the house. Boat around Paul. It's like, yeah, you have a thing you think will spin forever? No, you have at best a flywheel. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, it has momentum that will store energy that was put into it to some level of efficiency. Oh, you want the energy back? Uh, no. <laughs> no, it's gone. I'm gonna repost this, because this is really good. <laughs> it is good. Oh man, I need to remember. I need to remember to power up me ghost. Because I think she learns a fire spell, if I remember correctly. Another one? Well, like, right now all she knows is Veal. Or Veil, as her, like, special move. I mean, she learns, like, literally, like, a fire spell that, like, curses everybody on fire. Oh. Something like that. I think that's her level one? Something like that? It's really good. Yeah, I think she just learns, like, a fire punch that hits everyone. And it's really expensive. Yeah, she just six flower points. Lights everything on fire. Not too shit. Holy shabby. shit. Yeah, she's pretty good pretty quickly. Oh, somebody mentioned Chef, you gotta go visit Zesty. Oh yeah, give her the give her the book. <laughs> give her the book. Why not upgrade all the sidekicks? Because eventually you need... I can't remember, is it separate power-ups for the level 2 stuff? What do you mean? Or is it just more regular shine sprites? Because you can upgrade people again. Yeah, but more regular. It's more regular ones? Yeah, so I want to save some of those. Yeah. Uh, because some people's uh, level 2s are super good. Hmm. You do need to find like a crystal ball or something and give it to the guy, and that's how you you, you are able to do. Yeah, level it's just that's not till like chapter the end of like chapter, this one. I think. I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it's at the end of this one. Chapter this one. Ch chapter the current. Oh no, she still can only do one. I don't know. I got the cookbook. I thought I, that was it. I guess we need something else, too. Hmm. Maybe the cookbook just expands what you can do. Maybe. Oh, you give it to her in a trouble. There it is, Seeking Legendary Book. Garf. Elusive badge is the important one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never, I've never done this, so this is going to be entirely new. I've never even, I never knew you had a partner like that. Yeah, I didn't know you could get Maus. I think she's odd, but again, she's a thief, which mm -hmm. is good. And as somebody made the joke about in the chat earlier, I'm pretty sure the steel mechanic is better than Final Fantasy VII, so, or 9. I fucked up that joke. Oh, wait, how do I give her the book? Oh. You, you took the trouble, right? Yeah, I had to talk to her once and then... Oh, you had to initiate the, the quest. Mm -hmm. So let's see, what is a good two ingredient thing that I could do? Hmm. Mushroom and syrup. I don't have that. Combined what about golden leaf? What is golden leaf used for? Uh, that would take a second to look up. Peachy Give me peach. a minute. Yeah. 
I'll go pick up the quest. Gold leaf. Mario. Cook. You'd be surprised, but that actually worked. Uh, horsetail, turtle, poison germ, slow germ, and the ice storm, and the mild cocoa bean. The gold leaf alone makes a gold bar. <laughs> oh! So I just get a shitload what? of money from it. Oh, wait, that's in Super Paper Mario. Oh, okay. In Paper Mario, it makes Zest T, which is 20 FP restore. Well, this uh, is. Plus, this, this plus is... a tur. Okay, yeah. A thousand year door. Uh, plus horse, horse tail or a uh, turtle leaf, it's 1515. Plus a poison or slow shroom is some buff, debuff, who cares. Uh, plus an ice storm is a snow bunny, which is 15 HP. Wow, you'd think these would be better. Alright, here we go. I found the magic one. Alright, you need a whack a bump. Which is normally a twenty-five, twenty-five restore. Those are incredibly rare, but yeah. Yeah, but that plus the leaf is a forty, forty restore. Uh, okay. That's a thing to hold on to. Mm -hmm. How do you get those in this? I think you just have to find a whack. Oh, button. The, the, yeah, they they appear in the next chapter. On the island, so there you go. Oh, I will hide that. I'll hide the point swap, I guess, because I don't really plan on using that. I'll store the peach because it is just an ingredient. Sure, thank you. I hope this is good. Nice. This <laughs> <laughs> little mouse. Also, before we even go to do that quest to get mouse, let's go to the casino. Casino? Yeah, we got a card, remember? I don't actually. Yeah, that was the thing we did in Hooktail Castle. We got a gambler card so we can unlock a new area. And I've actually never done this before either. Oh yeah, because you start to unlock the games related to your powers. Yeah, these are pretty good. Get her to tell me more stuff. Hmm. Yeah, Possibly. the high score. I, I don't know. I I never really did the side quest. Mm -hmm. I'll take one more run, but I'm really bad at this. As a heads up. Like I said, I'm really bad at playing. I don't really know how to do better at playing. Oh, Rum Rusher posted a thing and I'm missing it. No, no. I got it. I have no idea how to do better at playing. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, save states! Right! <laughs> also, that's quite good. That is essentially what has been happening in that last chapter entirely. No, oh, whoops. I did not mean to do this. That's fine. Alright, time for save states. Save states, also known as incredible determination. <laughs> like, I guess I just don't get how you make the plane go fart. Farther, even? Just kind of stall it out, I guess? How far do I need to go for number one? That. 375, oh jeez. Okay, there's 400. <laughs> it doubles the payout. It's like there's that sweet spot where you're close to level that gives you your best balance between maintaining forward momentum and loitering. Yeah, just like tiny bits of falling and then just tap a little bit to kind of rise, just kind of... Yeah. I did not do it as well. Time. Oh, I didn't quite hit the moving platform. Dang it. Yeah, that's how you really break it in, is if you win the... Otherwise, you're just making a little... Yeah, that's enough of that. 255 people. <laughs> Still <Yep>. watching. <laughs> Still here after 12 hours. Alright, that's enough. More importantly, we now get to learn more about this pew. This, this, this boo. Campbell Ghost. Hello. That's all we're doing, we're just learning the backstory of this ghost. I think it's fun. Um, also if we get 100 we can get another FP plus and HP plus badge. It's kind of the real reason you do this, by the way. <laughs> this is you do these to get more HP plus badges. There is the practical reason to do a video game casino of earning some manner of prize. So now we need to run to Hooktail Castle, I believe. Uh, did you pick up the quest first? What? The yeah, trouble. I, pick I, the I trouble? picked it up at the board, yeah. Okay. Then yes, I believe it's Hooktail. Okay. If people are to be believed. Beep us, we ride. <laughs> I'm late to stream. If you only knew. <laughs> if you only knew how late to stream you were. <laughs> Unfortunately, right below this title, it says Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. There is a timer that tells them how late to stream they are. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Ride Beepus. I'm so glad that people are embracing the Beepus. <laughs> also, I still haven't talked to the door, so I should do that. Just to knock that right out. <laughs> yes, Dave Escape. This was a um, a four shits and giggle stream that just turned into the twelve hour stream for the month. I mean, it was <laughs> like I was like I could go for some Mario paper style. Like I do Mario RPG all the time, but I haven't done Thousand Year Door, and then I finally like spent a bit of time getting it to work the way I wanted, and then I was like, all right, you know what, this is good enough, let's do it. I'm just saying that you did not go into this planning for this to be as long as it was. Yeah, I just kind of just started playing. No one could have seen this. Mm -hmm. No one could have beep us. <laughs> <laughs> Bort. Beepus. And I think we're actually about the point where we could go for a 50 deep dive into the Pit of 100 Trials, but I don't think I'm going to. Beepus, Bort, Burpo. Borp and Beep, no. Beep, Lorp. Quick little break of the fourth wall there, and... <laughs> Light Cecil, the beep is the port in the Holy Burpo. Let's go, Bowden. But first, we ride Beepus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad they let you name him lowercase. It's so good. Oh yeah, I know I know you can check the trash for the missed scans. We already did that. Oh boy. Burpo the bashful. <laughs> We are doing the side quest, we're doing that right now. That is in fact where we're riding to, I think. We ride. I can never remember where the stupid side quests are. No, this is the way down to the door. Dang it, which is the way to the Hooktail Castle pipe? There's the, the shortcut pipes. But that one takes you farther away from Hooktail's castle is the problem. Oh. Well, I don't remember. I wasn't here for that. That's my excuse. That's fine. Oh, it's across the way past the, uh, where the blooper is in the blooper tunnel. I forget, was it the, it, it, it was the first one where you have to fight, like, the blooper balls, like, five times. Yes? Wait, do you mean, like, multiple fights in one fight, or do you mean multiple fights over the course of the game? Over the course of the game. Yeah, that's Paper Mario 1, I think. Yeah, because the multiple turn times in one fight is... RPG. Yeah, right, RPG. Yeah, the good one. <laughs> Beepus, no time to wait. We must ride. Oh. Oops, I took a damage. Yeah, Beepus first Paper Mario too. has three. Of course I'll ride on Beepus to ride two feet. Beepus, we ride. Alright, enough Beepus. <laughs> Beepus, we ride. It's slide of the night. <laughs> Beepus! Okay, now I can't remember where we go.
We have to meet Meow Mauzo somewhere. Where is she right? Where does she meet? <laughs> where where do I mouse? Where is mouse? Do I need to go up? Is the roof? Okay. Beepus, help! No, I'm kidding, I got it, Beepus. She's in Rogueport outside of the badge shop? What? Oh, I can get the badge first, okay. Oh, it's in Hooktail's room, that's where it is. I remember Ficus saying some, not Ficus, uh. Beepus? <laughs> <laughs> you mean PA Master? Yeah, there you go. Um, mentioning that before in the chat. So isn't that up? So I'm past that already, right? No, 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 like the boss room. I thought that was upstairs. It is. Oh, I thought I was past upstairs already. Oh, I don't know. Fucking beepus. No, I accepted the quest. I didn't get her... Yeah, it's the big green elevator. Yeah, Culex is really easy when you know... Yeah, you basically have to lame out Culex's fight. <laughs> Culex is really freaking hard otherwise. It's true. Like, it, it, it's a very hard fight. Well, you just farm up, like, 20 rock candies. Yeah, just toss a million of the rarest item in the game. What? They drop off of the, uh, the constructs, and they, uh, they're not rare, what? <laughs> yeah, they drop <laughs> off the final boss. What are you talking about? You can just grind out, you know, the final encounters in the game. <laughs> you didn't do that all the time as a kid? What? You didn't grind a 30 as a kid? No, Culex is literally, like, he is the Omega weapon of that game. That's, that's exactly what he is. Like, they... Completely knew what they were doing. He is the Omega weapon of that game. He's. Do you know how to break the game yet? <laughs> the best part is when you really look at it. Like really, really think about it. Um, Qox is like the Final Fantasy self-insert character. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's the whole point. Yeah. <laughs> and I love it. Yeah, he's the Omega weapon. Like I wasn't kidding. Like that's legitimately he is the Omega weapon of that game. He is the. Have you busted the game yet? Yes Wait, what no. is he? He's the Culex. Is he he's the, the Omega weapon? He's the Omega weapon. He's the Beepus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you call it when uh, you curse too much in this? It's a Bleepus. No, that's if you get caught. Do you know what a horrifying abomination is that turns you to stone if you look at it for too long is? No, what is it? Catabeepus. Catabeepus. <laughs> <laughs> also, thank you, Loon. I didn't expect anyone to actually just get Catabeepus out of nowhere. <laughs> My mind was like, how's he gonna twist Gorgon this way? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to get three shine sprites at the time I need them most. Oh no, he's already dead. Uh, best part, Chad, is he's not even manipulating that. That's the way that's pronounced. <laughs> well, like somebody's spelling it weird in the chat. It's like, no. That's just how you pronounce catablepus. Well, it's like catabl. I thought it was catabulpus or something, but. Oh, bleepus. Is it really yeah, catablepus? Yeah. Catabepus? <laughs> yeah. Kind of authentic, you know, the, the, the mythological beepus. <laughs> beepus the, of the stone. Of legend. <laughs> yeah, beepus of stone. Sword and the beepus. The ancient ble bleepus of yore. Catablepus.